Talking of snuff bottles, although I believe they were used for opium now and then. <laughs> uh, this is what the Chinese called uh, cinnabar, cinnabar amber, uh, red amber. Now, as for cinnabar content, I don't think so. And as for amber, uh, there's a lot of man-made resin gone in there, I'm sure there is. But, oh my, are they cute. Little bottles with the tops. And just that there is, is all inside, that's that's it, that, that you can see white. That snuff and opium, you know, they were cheap. And, and that was where they kept it, just in that little bit in the middle. But while we go on here, look, um, that's a bat. Bring money. There's another bat. Bats, bats and eyes. Uh, and here, oh, there's a bat, and it's oh my goodness, look, there's um, one of them everlasting life motifs. I thought they were uh, Celtic. Oops, <laughs> Tibetan, Tibetan. Yes, indeedy, this is Tibetan. Oh, nice. Do you want to look at another one? Oh, it's paler, this one. Um, what have we got? We've got a crane, lotus. And we've got lotus on that side as well. I believe these were sort of cast, roughly. And then carved a shape that was the shape that was needed. Oh, yeah, on this one. Oh, oh, that's the old scene, isn't it? Uh, people, people on the bridge. And a pagoda at the back, and some rocks. Really nice to handle these things. Look on there. Oh, is that a fisherman? Soon see if he's got any fish. He's a fisherman. Ooh, I can't see any fish. Oh. Well, that says who he is, but my Chinese is not that good. It looks like Confucius to me, does that? <laughs> now what have we got on this one we've got someone sat on a couch or is he on a bank fishing I think it's fishing I think that's a fishing rod and what do we have? Oh, there! Oh, there's a boy on a on a an ox. Look, there's the ox. Yes, and of course the eye. I'll see an eye up above him. Look, it's probably Buddha as a child on an ox. <laughs> uh, all sorts of history in these things. Yeah, quite a long, tall one now. What's this? Oh, dragon. Dragon in there. There's a bat. Um, oh, there's a fella. <laughs> See, head up there. And coming his robes all the way down. Very well carved. Really nice gear. Hey, tall one. What have we got on here? There. Oh, yeah. Looks to be Buddha there. That's nicely done, is that one, isn't it? Again, um, I picked these up for oh, anywhere from about 40, 25 years ago. I just pick them up as we go along, one at a time. I get to hear about them. I get to hear about them or I see them and... Okay, now what's this? This is a fox. And what's it after? 
I think it's trying to catch a bat. And there's grapes there. A fox in a grape tree, I seem to remember the story about that. There we go. And there's um and there's two of those. I've got a pair. Look, a pair. Yay! The the, the not they, they look to be the same, but when you look at them carefully, they're not, you know, the uh, the carvings are different. And then finally, there's this one. It won't stand up because it's got a pointed bottom. So I presume it wasn't meant to stand up. Uh, could have had something moist in it, so that would keep the cork damp and keep it... Um, Actually, there's a little crack in the top of that. Look, I haven't seen that before. Hmm. Don't detract from it though, does it? Now, what are they? <laughs> Weird and wonderful things, I don't know. Someone will know, no problem at all. Nice bit of gear though. Nice bit of gear. Oh. So I'll be putting these on eBay as um, man-made amber, man-made amber resin, be on the safe side. Um, some could be very, very old, but I ain't going to say that. Uh, you're looking 20th century. Uh, nice stuff though, very nice stuff. 